This is the third video in a series that is all about how to promote your books with Facebook. In my last video, I showed you why you should use a dedicated Facebook page rather than your personal Facebook account. And in this video, I want to show you the differences between a Facebook page and a Facebook group and why you should choose a page rather than a group if you're an author. Hello Home Bosses, I'm Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online from self-publishing. Today we're tackling a super important topic, why a Facebook page is a better choice for promoting your books than a Facebook group. Let's start with the basics. Facebook pages are public profiles designed for businesses, brands and public figures to connect with their audience. They're like your professional storefront on Facebook. On the other hand, Facebook groups are more like private clubs, where people with shared interests gather to discuss and share. Both are fine to use, but when it comes to book promotion, there is definitely an advantage to using a Facebook page and not a group. So why should you pick a page for your books? A Facebook page is public and super easy for potential readers to find. And that means that anyone can stumble upon your page and discover your books. And they're also fantastic for branding. You can customize your page to reflect your author brand, making it look super professional. Plus, a page gives you access to nifty tools like ads and analytics, helping you understand and grow your audience. I have personally not run any Facebook ads for my books. And in this video series, it is all about how you can promote your books for free without running paid ads. So I won't go into how to run ads in this series, but at least you know you could run ads in future if you wanted to do this. And I think it's always good to have the option. With groups, you have a great opportunity for discussions and building a community, but they have downsides when it comes to promotions. They are often private, making it harder for new readers to find you. They don't offer the same professional look or tools as pages, and you can't run ads. And even though this is not about running ads, you just never know if you might want to do so in future. So it's a good idea to keep your options open. I might want to run ads in the future. So I know it's a good idea to have a page where that option is open to me. And I use Facebook groups, but not for my books. I use them to build a community of home bosses where we can discuss book creation and business related topics. People have to answer certain questions before they can join the group. So it's limited to people who want to join a community of book creators. And I do have pages for my books, not groups. And anybody can see my pages. They can like and comment. And there are no questions you have to answer before you can join. So if you want to expand your following and your readership, Facebook pages have an advantage over groups thanks to their public visibility. Of course, you can you can run a group. A group is still better than than not running anything at all. But it's just more suitable to books to have a Facebook page. Pages are more suitable for authors. So I want to show you another example of how an author uses their Facebook page in a very effective way. So take a look at this Facebook page. It's called Attainable Sustainable with Chris Bordessa. And I stumbled across this page ages ago when I started my own journey with my gardening blog. Chris has 506,000 followers on her Facebook page, and she is the author of the best how-to book of 2020, which is called Attainable Sustainable, The Lost Art of Self-Reliant Living. I really love this page because it's all the kind of things that I'm interested in. I'm interested in gardening. I'm interested in cooking my own food. I'm interested in canning food, in preserving food, all these kind of things I'm, I'm very interested in. And uh, I enjoy looking through their Facebook page. And again, I didn't know she was an author. I just thought it was a page about gardening and about cooking. 
And if you have a look at her website, you can find it here. This is why on a page you can have your website as well. It's clickable and it takes you to her blog, Attainable Sustainable. So you can see what this is about. It's about starting a garden, baking bread, desserts, greener living, a little bit about Chris herself. And uh, it says, check out my book. So let's go and have a look. And uh, it's got a landing page here, Attainable Sustainable, The Lost Art of Self-Reliant Living. Again, it says here, it's the best how-to book of 2020 in the American Society of Journalists and Authors. And uh, it says order now from these retailers. So we can just have a quick look on Amazon. And here we are. It's available in hardcover. It's £24.99. And what I really like is her A plus content. I think it deserves a mention because look at what she's done with her A plus content. She's actually got things that are inside the book, how to make easy melt and pour candles, tips on how to clean and uh, how to make elderberry syrup. Now, for people like me who are really interested in these kind of things, this is the kind of A plus content that I like to see because I'm straight away drawn to this and I'm reading it, I'm finding out about it. And uh, if you're like me and you love this kind of content, you're very tempted to buy this book. <laughs> so, so I think she's done an excellent job on her A plus content, which is all part of promoting your books, making them more attractive to buyers. And uh, she's doing the same thing on her Facebook page. She posts her recipes. Sometimes she shares other people's recipes if, if they fall into the same category as her own. So here is one on ways to use apple butter. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I never heard of apple butter. So you do learn a lot of things. There's a, a blog post about the easiest way to compost. So there's a lot of sharing of her blog and blogging is another way where you can really talk about your books as well and promote your books. But that is a, another video series maybe. At the moment, we're just looking at how she's using Facebook. And the one thing that I've noticed is that she uses really good photography. I mean, who wouldn't like to make this? <laughs> I just, I just love the photography in this. I love how she, how she provides so much value. These are all things that I'm interested in. And you can see that she's not talking about her book at all. She's just sharing her blog posts. She's sharing her recipes. She's giving lots and lots of information. And anybody who's interested in this will, will love this kind of thing. And of course, this is a really good way to promote your book because I'm definitely going to buy her book. <laughs> I'm so tempted now. And uh, this is a great way to promote your books if you're an author. So another really good example of an author who uses their Facebook page really effectively. And if you click here on her page, you get to find out about her transparency. That means that you can find out if she's running any ads. So it says ads from this page. This page is not currently running any ads. So she's managing to make all those sales without ads. She's obviously best-selling author and an award-winning author. So can you see how everything comes together when you're promoting your books with blogging, with Facebook, with other social media? And there are so many ways you can do this for free. It's a lot of work. I will admit that because running a Facebook page or running any sort of social media promotion does take time and it takes effort, but it's a free way of doing it. So you're kind of trading time for money. You can promote your books by advertising on Amazon, by paying for ads, and that is a quick and easier way to do it. But if your budget doesn't allow and if you want to add another way to promote your books, then you do it through social media. Like I'm explaining in this video series, you can do it through Facebook and that won't cost you any money, but it will take time and it will take effort. But I'm happy to do that if my books are selling more. And for me, it has been a really good way to promote my books for free. I do also run ads 
But when I wasn't able to run ads because I didn't have the budget for it, this was a really good way. It took some time to build my, my audience, but it did help me a lot with my sales. So you can see she's got a blog as well on her page. And uh, these are all things that are probably in her books. So you can actually take your books and blog depending on the kind of book that you have. If you have low content books, you can maybe post some examples and make blog posts about how you can use your books or how you should use your books. If you are a romance writer, you could um, write about the characters in your novels and blog about that or blog about your experiences as a writer. And if you have non-fiction books like this example here, you can always include blogs on how to do something, things that you're writing about in your books and create blog posts about them. She also has a shop, which I presume will lead to her books. So here we are. Let's click on that and then it will take me on another page where you can order the books from your preferred platform. If I go back to the shop, so there's a, another book, I imagine. So that's the five gallon garden. So this is available as an instant download PDF file. So you can see how this Facebook page that I was following has led me to so many other places that um, this author has got to promote her books and to sell PDF files of her information. So there are just so many things you can do with a Facebook page. And if you're interested, I will make a video on how you can uh, create a blog to, <laughs> to promote your books. That's another way to do it. There is just so much to do when you're an author, but it's all good fun and it all helps your books. So in summary, while groups are a fantastic way to build communities, pages offer more advantages for promoting your books and growing your fan base or readership. They're like a personal billboard on Facebook, ready to introduce your books to the world. So how can you make the most of your Facebook page? Well, keep your content fresh and engaging, interact with your fans regularly, and use insights to understand what your audience loves. Regular updates and a bit of creativity can go a long way in keeping your readers hooked. So in my next videos, I will be talking more about that and how to create a great content strategy for your Facebook page. So stay tuned. And if you have missed my previous videos in this series, I will leave a link to it after this video. And don't forget to leave any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And let me know how your Facebook journey is going. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.